Why are people obsessed with taking pictures of their food? My mum does it, my sister does it. And in fact, every girl that I know does it. Is it a girl thing? So Monday is work at home day. Um, I get to work one day at home a week uh, at my home office, which is very nice of my boss. Um, part of the flexible working arrangements we have here at Westpac. Um, that's not a plug for Westpac though, but it is very nice. It's, a, it's an electric scooter. This dude just rode by an electric scooter just having to smoke. Just, you know, casually riding an electric scooter with the smoke. <laughs> Such a weird place for it is. Hey guys, well, thank you for tuning in again. Look, thank you for all the suggestions everybody's been giving me about the um, the name or the ethos or whatever you want to call it of my company. It's it's actually really interesting listening to everybody's suggestions. Um, I'm just going to read out a couple here because they were fantastic. Grant Baker suggested that I call it King at Making No Great Story Content Evil Again. Well, it's a work in progress. Nick Chislett uh, suggested that I probably have a good future in time lapses. Thanks. Mark Fardell suggested moving image that moves people. Sounds familiar, might be infringement of copyright. John Carvello, John Carvalho, John Carvel Carvalaro? I've never actually pronounced your name before. This is the first time saying it out loud. I'm really sorry if I mispronounced it, John, but he said to, it pays the bills, it keeps the lights on, we care sometimes, there is enough pie for everyone because Sydney is expensive. We make you look good. We make you a little bit more popular. Help others dream visual dreamers. Um, I like this one from Grant, which said, uh, make because little things matter. Actually, that's not a bad one. I actually didn't mind that one. Douglas said, we love your story or we want to make money off your story, which is probably more apt because I think that's actually what I do. Alex suggested 100% STD free. Not sure if that's the way I want to go. And uh, Darren suggested we share your vision. Now, I kind of like all those ideas to some degree. I realized that companies will spend millions of dollars finding these three simple words or these few simple words that basically sum up what an organization is. And it's interesting to see that this is what is the cornerstone or the foundation of basically what everything is. And that's something that I really kind of look for in my life in general is trying to find the good, the right foundations to build uh, everything upon. I think that's always the key, right? Like if you have good foundations then you can start building from there. Even if it takes a little bit longer, I think it's really good to build the foundations first. When I was learning how to redraw, should I say, three years ago, um, it was a big, it was a big uphill struggle. I've, I'm actually have a little bit of natural talent with drawing, but to be honest, it's sort of stagnated. And to go to the next level, I kind of need to get some lessons. And so I signed up for a, a, a tutorial site to actually teach me how to draw. And one of the things they basically told me was that one of the things I was lacking was the foundational work to actually get to the next level, at least to the level that I wanted to get to. So I had to go back to, I had to basically go back to square one and I thought I was actually quite good, but it's quite a shock when you find out how terrible you actually are. So I had to go back and learn things like anatomy, which is something that I had never actually learned before, like, and like how the body is basically put together. And I'm not talking about like heads and arms, I'm talking about muscle groups. I had to learn how the muscle groups worked in the body. I had to learn how they all connected to the body. I had to learn how they twisted and contorted in different positions on the body. Like your arms are actually, there's actually quite a few muscles in this arm that run up and down your, uh, your forearm basically and up to your bicep. There's this little tendon here that I didn't know existed. And the way your bicep moves and sits in your arm, it kind of twists in position depending on which way your arm is positioned basically. There's so many little things and these are things that um, foundationally, I had to learn again so that I could be better at my drawing. And I feel like in everything, um, foundation is the key. You need to have a good foundation, whether it be the way you handle your money or the way that you uh, manage your relationships. There's, there's got to be a good baseline for all these things. And this to me is one of the things that I'm passionate about is finding out what those foundations in life are. And sometimes, I don't know, it's easy to skip those, it's easy to skip those foundational things. It's easy to feel like you're getting nowhere because just building foundations isn't fun. You're on the bottom and you wanna be up there, but you're, you're down here trying to build those bricks and it's not fun. So, I mean, like, that's the thing. Like, that's the thing that I'm always searching for is like, where do I get to start at zero? Like, what is it going to take? And what do I have to build at zero so I can get to the next level, level one, level two? And trying to find ground zero for my company so that I can 
figure out what to build it from here, I think is in, an incredibly important to me because I really want to build this something into something that's a bit more than just a video company. I don't want to be just another flash in a pan video company. I can do that. I know I can do that in my sleep. What I want to do is build something that is lasting and meaningful. When I've died, I want this thing to keep on going. I don't know what that is, but I would like to. Anyway, guys, what do you guys think? Um, maybe that's really dumb. Maybe that's very philosophical. Um, it's not the usual funny stuff that I talk about, but I don't know. I, I've been working very hard today. I just want to shout out another YouTube channel called Group Settings. They're really funny, really funny bunch of guys, really smart bunch of guys too. I really enjoy listening to these guys. They're, I love that they all have a different point of view, but also um, they have really, really good stuff, really good content. So guys, check them out. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Tried to practice this first But you could have it all My empire of dirt This is the song that's sad That plays in the Wolverine trailer But it's not called Wolverine it's called Logan, 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 Logan. I don't know what I'm doing.